Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. This is the Prince of Humbug and today I want to talk about Microsoft Flight Simulator crash to desktop issues and how I finally solved my CTD. They were so random. I could be just literally sitting on the home screen like this. Bang! Crash to desktop. Scooting down the runway at a hundred knots, ready for takeoff. Bang! Crash to desktop. I might have been at my cruise altitude for an hour, two hours, three hours into a flight and then all of a sudden for no known reason, bang, crash to desktop. I was over it. I was ready to send an abusive email to the Zen desk and tell them I wanted my money back. It's not me, it's you. Everything was working fine until service update four and then all of a sudden these things started to happen and I thought to myself, I'll wait for the next update. I'll fix it then. They're talking about crash to desktop issues being fixed. It'll happen, it'll happen. Service update six, still nothing. I had made sure my drivers were up to date. Nothing in the community folder. I had read every forum under the sun looking for a cause for my crash to desktops. And finally, I found it. It wasn't the villainous Microsoft. It was me. It was my BIOS. Uh, I built this PC myself specifically to play Microsoft Flight Sim and I only built it therefore last year. So I'm thinking surely it can't be that. Well, as soon as I updated my BIOS, guess what? I'm flying, I'm as happy as Larry. When's the last time you updated your BIOS? I couldn't believe it. That was it. That was the answer. Update my BIOS. Which is very easy to do, by the way, folks. There are plenty of YouTube tutorials. Or just jump onto your motherboard's manufacturer and I'm sure you'll find it there. All you need is a USB stick. So viewers, if you are experiencing crash to desktop issues with Microsoft Flight Sim and you've tried everything else but you haven't tried updating your BIOS, I highly recommend it. Let me know how you go, pop a comment down below. This is the Prince of Humbug, signing off.